Hello, I am Carol from That Irish Schoolhouse and welcome to my channel. Um, I'm very tired, <laughs> as you can see. Um, I get up early these days to do some online teaching, uniform, <laughs> um, and so I'm kind of taking advantage of that time to also um, get a few of my videos done. <laughs> it's been a hectic few weeks. Um, I started this job I think three weeks ago and that was also just the week before my husband took time off so I've been trying to kind of build up my classes and also juggle figuring out and um, you know spending time with my family too um, and obviously it being summer we've been going out a lot more do you know the kids have been up later so all of that has added <laughs> these little thingies <laughs> so I do apologize but that's the state we're in right now and that's life so we are going to do a the, the, the phrase that's going through my mind right now I don't think is appropriate so I'm not going to say it <laughs> we are going to do a one hit wonder on this voiceover and see where we go it can't be any worse than my last one. <laughs> Let's go. So this is the cover of my daughter's. She is going into junior infants. Lesson one. These are all quite age appropriate. I don't like the fact that they have the end of lesson three and the beginning of lesson four on the same page because my daughter tends to obviously the way that we use it is we take it out and then we put it back in so it kind of puts me under pressure not to lose the page but this all seems very age appropriate and very stage appropriate for what we are at right now I feel like these are kind of now we're getting into four letter words um it's fine uh there's a lot of reading on my part, which I'm totally happy to do. I do like the fact that they put these um, chapters in as you go along, so you don't necessarily have to print out a lot more. Okay, so still flicking through, still quite age appropriate. Um, a lot of reading on the parents' part and the writing is a lot smaller than it was in the previous course. But again, that's to be expected as you move on. Um, not quite as colorful, but still um, pockets of color. <clears throat> now, as you can see, it is actually getting a little bit more difficult. These horses, these previews, actually I found really helped um, last year doing first class. So now Nevi will be in um, senior infants. I found them really helpful because they introduce a concept. Um, it's just a one page thing. They introduce a concept that they will later learn properly. And actually they were difficult enough concepts for the first class in the first class. But I found actually by the time you get to the concept, because you've already done those little um, horse reader things, um, it's actually not as tough. So I think they are actually um, a good teaching tool. And then I'm just surprised that they're expecting a senior infant to be able to read these little paragraphs here. <laughs> okay, so now we're on lesson 70 something. I think there's 120 lessons. So we're in the later part of the course. But these are all sentences and words that the child is expected to know, um, reading part of the reader. I feel like a lot of this is stuff that first class, we did in first class just last year. So I'm not sure how I feel about it happening in senior infants. <laughs> um, I mean, again, we're homeschoolers. It doesn't matter whether we do it all in one year or if it takes longer. Um, it's definitely advanced. I don't think any senior infant in Ireland is reading all of these sentences, are they? I mean, am I just ignorant? 
Um, I don't know, I feel like a lot of this is very similar to the first class content. But Nevi is so eager to learn and she is already asking how to spell little um, words so that she can write notes to people. <laughs> so yeah, and finished the level K course. Yay! I can't wait. <laughs> okay, racing through this. At the beginning, all appropriate, three letter words. One sentence, two sentences, not that difficult. Um, as it progresses, I mean, they definitely do have a steep learning curve. Like that was what the second um, story and already it was on to three or four sentences. I do like the content of these stories. By the time we got into first class, um, my first class or last year found the content um, boring. I found it wholesome, <laughs> uh, just like we were watching that movie Onward and my husband and I found it wholesome and my son was like, oh, it was just about the dad. I would have preferred if there was more bodies in it. <laughs> now, I digress. Focus, Carol. Now, you can see now we've got like multiple pages for a story and multiple sentences for a story. So... It is definitely getting harder. There's definitely advancement. Advancement, is that a word? I've been up since 2.30 a.m. and it's now 5 a.m. So yeah, we're gonna go with advancement. There's a lot of advancement in the course here. <laughs> yes, I do call myself an English teacher. <laughs> That's talent for you, making up words as we go. <laughs> okay, so uh, overall, I have found that The Good and the Beautiful has been more advanced than what I perceive other, um, other like classes in Ireland to be. Um, I would have said maybe six months to a year ahead. With, di with this one, with this one, which is senior infants or kindergarten, um, definitely I feel it is six months ahead of where I assume uh, other senior infants are. I might be wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm not wrong. <laughs> Ha 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 